Hiya, my name is Sally Wright and I'm one of the pastoral care pastors at Village Church. And this week we have been walking through the first account of creation in Genesis 1. And today is day six. And I'm just going to read to you, not the whole passage for today that you read in your email, but just a couple of verses. God spoke, let us make human beings in our image, make them reflecting our nature so they can be responsible for the fish in the sea and the birds in the air, the cattle, and yes, earth itself and every animal that moves on the face of the earth. God created human beings. He created them godlike, reflecting God's nature. He created them male and female. God blessed them. Reproduce, prosper, fill earth, take charge. Be responsible for fish in the sea and birds in the air, for everything that moves on the face of the earth. Skipping a few verses. God looked over everything that he had made. It was so good, so very good. It was evening and it was morning, day six. Reading this particular translation, it, it struck me in prepping for today, this idea that God put us responsible, uh, that you and I, somehow that God has called us into partnership with God's creation and that we must be responsible for the, the living things around us. But I don't know about you, I don't really have an ocean that, uh, that I'm in charge of or even a fish tank and I don't even own any birds. So I've been wondering what does it mean to be responsible? And I know that you all are incredibly thoughtful, so I look forward to hearing from you the ways that God is calling you to be responsible and to be a partner with God in creation. This last weekend, I put in a new garden, and I did so by ordering compost and layering things in order to create an incredibly fertile, hopefully, garden and planting seeds. And I did so after preparing for this, I realized that I may not have a lot of land. I simply have a backyard and I can put in a garden and I can grow things that the bees will like and the birds will like and that will feed them. This is one, one teeny tiny way that I can help be responsible for this earth that God has created for us. So our God is the God who has created all that we know and all that we see, yet God has called us into partnership with God to create and to be responsible and to care for all that we know, all that we can see, because we are responsible for God's creation. So I'm, today is day six and I'm gonna give you just a little bit of homework in order to finish off this particular account of creation. There's just a few verses I invite you to read tomorrow. It's verses, uh, chapter two, verses one through four. Verses one through four. So I invite you tomorrow on Sunday to wake up and before your feet even touch the earth to read the final passage, the final day seven of this creation account. It has been such a blessing to walk with you all this week and I hope that this uh, walking through the account of creation in Genesis has been as much a blessing for you as it has been for me and may God bless each of you all. Amen.